What is going on my jealous gamers and welcome back to another episode on the Pokefine server where we are playing more Pokemon but as you can tell down right below my character we only have two Pokemon and that is because I messed up my execute I evolved him way too early um so he didn't get the move that you know is a really good move and then we also messed up our Growlithe so I have a different Growlithe but this one's actually level 43 so that's actually better than what we had because our other one was like 33 or something like that so this one's like 10 10 higher um but i've been going around killing things around here trying to force spawn some executes and stuff uh because i think i caught Growlithe at a level 42 i believe and so i've leveled them up once since i got in them and i got them like two or three days ago <laughs> but uh I've been trying to find some more executes and stuff. Oops, press the wrong button. Um, zoom in, Sparrow. But uh, but yeah, it, it hasn't been it hasn't been a real good, you know, <laughs> hasn't been really good, you know, searching for all this. Like I've already like, oops, I just pulled up my. All right, so if we go into our PC, so these are like. You know, we had Machamp, but I'm not going to have Machamp. I'm actually going to try getting, uh, I can't remember his name right now. Uh, he's a fighting type Pokemon. He's a pretty good Pokemon. Um, and of course our Execute. It was a good Execute, good, you know, nature. But we didn't want to level him up, I think, until like 42 or something like that. Let me go ahead and check my notes. Yeah, alright, so execute at 42, Growlithe at 43. Wait. I can level up my Growlithe. Um Yeah, because he's at 43. And then Shelter at 57. I'm gonna see what move I wanted on Growlithe to see uh when I wanted to evolve him real quick. Alrighty, I think I typed the number in wrong when I was putting him in here. I don't I it says uh, evolve it at 45 so it learns uh, Flare Blitz. After this level, Growlithe has learned all of its moves. So we're going to wait until he's level 45, which I can probably do by the end of this episode. But the only thing is I need a Firestone, and I do not have one. So I might run around for a little while, um, see if I can collect, you know, uh, Pokestops and stuff. And then hopefully, you know, by the time... We get him up to level 45, I'll have a Firestone, which just kind of sucks because I really want it. But I also want to show you guys something else. Like, do you guys like the shaders and, you know, normal Minecraft uh, texture? Or do you guys like the shaders with the specs texture pack? Or... Do you guys just like the texture pack itself? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as texture pack today. Because I'm pretty sure our last video was texture pack and shaders. So let me know which one you guys like. I accidentally hit the wrong button to run. Uh, I have like all my keybinds on my mouse. Because I have a Razer mouse with the keypad on the side of it. And I got three extra buttons. So my middle buttons to record. Uh, my left button technically well my bottom button is to sprint and then top one is to uh you know change my view but please be modest brave like i don't even care if i get a low level execute honestly because i've been doing this for so long because i can i can you know capture up to i think level 45 or something like that and uh but i i just i just can't <laughs> i haven't found i have not found one pokemon yet well one execute yet that is a decent pokemon all right come on growl if you can take this butter for you should have one shotted him with no problem oh there is something that we do need to get i need to get a xp share so i will definitely do that here in just one second Alrighty, so it already came through. That was actually really fast. 
it says between 10 to 15 minutes but i'm gonna go ahead and throw two on i bought three for twelve dollars which <laughs> is a little expensive for some xp shares <laughs> i mean like come on like i kind of wish they had like xp alls but those didn't come out until what sapphire and ruby i believe i don't know i can't remember exactly either those ones are the ones after but i'm pretty sure it was sapphire and ruby and uh emerald i don't know i've played just about every single one it's hard to keep track of what's what so <laughs> the only one that i have yet to beat is sun and moon and i have yet to play black and white i played a little bit of black and white but not all of it because it was actually my buddy's game at the time but we have our xp shares and once we get the execute that we want i will throw the third xp share on him so anyway all of our pokemon that i'll be training up for now will be leveling up but the biggest problem is i'm not 100 sure on who else we should get between the two uh between the two uh uh what am i trying to say there are first gen and second gen on here right now so i'm not sure which pokemon i want out of both those generations um or even out of one generation um i can't remember is tyranitar second gen i can't remember exactly but it's something that we'll figure out sooner or later um once i get you know all my pokemon up to at least level 50 we'll be able to take on team rocket and uh that's what i kind of plan on doing today but i still got a lot of leveling to do um hopefully if i can just get one pokemon up to level oops sent out the wrong person but i can still probably take them um i think if i can at least get growlith to uh what's his evolution arcanine i will be able to take on team rocket today but if i can't then i won't put up this and i'll save it for the next episode well not the next episode but i don't know we'll figure something out uh i want you guys to have something to actually watch so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it here so i don't make the recording too long um and you guys will be able to see what you guys you know want to see Alrighty, so we got a blue gym here and this dark pokemon is only level six um i think 33 42 45 69 <laughs> oh geez um 92 and level 100 why does it oh the gym level six yeah never mind i'm out of here never mind never mind never mind <laughs> um but we are just about to level 45 we got about 3,000 more experience to go um so if i just keep attacking you know level 44s and up uh i'll be able to be i'll i'll get there pretty soon um, but I'm going to go ahead and slash spawn and then take a lap around the whole entire map uh, to all the Pokestops and everything real quick just to see if we can get anything decent out of them. Um, I don't know how rare it is to get, you know, something good like one of the stones or something like that. Um, but if we have to, you know, I might be able to trade up some people, which I actually have no money. What if I do uh, kits? What? Nope, I still got two days on my kit. Almost three but uh but yeah we'll we'll figure something out i'm still looking for execute i have not found another execute since this one pretty much and that's only a brave and i need a modest so we are going to go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and sp spawn and then take our laps oh our second poke stop yes we got a water stone from our second poke stop pokeball water stone and some trainer xp so that gives us shelter's evolution once we get him up to level 57 which <laughs> is a while from now but i don't know it gave it to us already so we got our water stone now all we need is a fire stone and a leaf stone so far so we'll we'll figure something out um kind of wish i had some more money is there anything i could sell yeah i got some pokeballs i can sell which i'll sell in the next town over but 
let's go ahead and travel our way this way through the tree tree fall tree place whatever the heck it's called can't remember the name now i sit in there every single day and i can't even remember the name but i'll let you guys know if we get anything else decent or something really good so we have a abra sitting here this is like the second one i've seen since i've been playing this and the best nature that i looked up it says either modded or timid but if i can remember the best one for like battling is timid if i can remember correctly but we're gonna go ahead and try catching him and hopefully he is either modest or timid i'll take either one of them lax come on all right let's go ahead and pc him up that kind of sucks modest or timid yeah hardy and lax dang it that's the second one i've that's like i've ever seen at, on this uh on this server like i'm kind of sucks <laughs> I was really, really was hoping i can get him i just cut it on accident because that's one pokemon i do want because he i feel like he'd be you know pretty decent but we are on our way to amber city to collect the pokestops well actually i think there's only one here and then we're gonna head over to um honestly i don't know which way i want to go there's two different ways I, I can go either that way or that way that way is like the snow biome this way is i think um i'm not too sure what biomes over here uh let me check petra city that don't explain a lot don't oh, know we're gonna go this way first let's check something real quick so if we come this way right now we're in amber city so if we go this way there's really nowhere else that we can go except for uh falls lagoon and then we can go back through this city go back through and then go to the snow biome and then the city so on and so forth and then just make our way all the way back around to Fenduria. Fenduria? i think that's how you say it we have done it ladies and gentlemen we have finally found a modest execute level 44 so i can evolve him right when i get a leaf stone and it's gonna happen i wonder what his ivs are please tell me they're decent 49 percent nope <laughs> but uh i'm in this city and i found you know three abras two cadabras and then like an extra like three or four uh executes that i caught but i have seen even more and then if you look in here there's even more executes this is like the best place to find executes and stuff so if you're looking for execute i'm gonna have to figure out what the city's called real quick so let me figure that out and then uh i'll tell you guys because this is like the best place for abras and executes because they are freaking everywhere look at here's another one right there but we got our level 44 execute now all we have to do is pretty much train up our shelter and our growlith to one more level then we can level up I mean then we can evolve our growlith all right what village are we in all right we are in um mystical mystical peak i think it is yeah i think we're a mystical peak yep mystical keep keep not peep or whatever i said but this is like the best place like see there's another two abras which are most likely over here because there was quite a few over here let's see if we can see anything <clears throat> abra see this is what i'm talking about like there's so many around here but i need to get a timid or modest abra and this one is of course a glitched abra and that's not the one that's showing up though so let's find the one that's showing up it's probably over somewhere around here it's in this town i can tell you that <laughs> um i gotta find him i have found the abra in its natural habitat it's level 13 let's take this abra you are going to be mine i've wasted so many pokeballs here though like i've been trying to use just my regular pokeballs to catch them but it takes so many because the catch rate's so low with a pokeball and watch now it's gonna catch i just threw two gray balls and wow all right we got a brave that's not what we want and i'm guessing you're glitched oh no maybe not you're on my thing are you glitched nope he moves sweet so if you're looking at one of the pokemon and like see how he kind of follows me if he don't follow you 
he is a glitched Pokemon. That is something that I think they need to, you know, kind of look at fixing because it kind of does get annoying because you're sitting there, you're like, oh my god, I found something, and then it's just glitched. Yeah, it kind of sucks. All right, come on, catch. Be timid or something. Come on. Just catch. Two, three. There we go. There we go. Jolly. I need a modest or a whatever the other one is. Timid. That's what I need. And we just caught a modest. Yes. So I am going to just run the modest because I don't feel like looking for even more. But I do need to figure out when to evolve him. Uh, I know he evolves automatically to Kadabra. But we need to figure out when to evolve him to Alakazam. Uh, when should I evolve Abra? So let's see. So evolve Abra as soon as he's ready at level 16. Then immediately evolve Kadabra to Alakazam. So at level 16, we're going to have to evolve him. So honestly let's just take that off put it on execute so when we are fighting with him which we're gonna go ahead and go back to spawn because we can go back through and loot i tried <laughs> i tried seeing if there was like a nice little glitch that i could do um i sat in one of these and just sat there hoping that it would give <laughs> give me stuff every time it re uh re went through but i think they have it set up per person on how many times you uh grab a poke center and I mean poke stop and then you get something you know real good like a water stone or any other stones um but they also had that mystical guy which kind of sucks because i can't you know do anything with them but we do need to level up our execute um i'm gonna do does anyone have a leaf stone they don't mind donating to me let's see what anyone says because if we can get someone to give us a leaf stone that'd be great which actually let's just go ahead and take that off because we don't want him to keep leveling up because if he does keep leveling up he is going to uh he's gonna end up messing up and we won't be able to get some of the moves that we want when he gets a higher level but no, like, I can't believe how, like, I really wish I found that out a lot sooner because I would have got my Pokemon a lot faster. Um, but yeah, they, it's just, you know, <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. I've never really been out that far. Um, but we are going to go ahead, get our, um, Growlithe to level 45, which shouldn't take long. Just a few more, you know things a few more fights For some reason i can't think today like i've been stuttering in this video i've been you know all that type of stuff in this video it's been such a bad day for me like trying to talk and everything but that was super affected i can one shot these guys without a problem that only gave me 300 experience they were giving me a thousand earlier Jeez, probably because they were uh lower level i can finally catch level 45 pokemon so that means that the pokemon that spawn are going to be even higher level which look at these executes why couldn't you guys be here like 20 minutes ago when I was sitting here looking for you guys let's go ahead and the reason why I like Arcanine so much is because he is considered a pseudo legendary or a mythical pr Pokemon pretty much um I think it's pseudo is that the right saying for that like a pseudo legendary um but he's he's pretty much technically a legendary he's like a mythical legendary and I don't know if you guys like kind of heard like the myths behind the three legendary dogs either i was watching some videos on it and uh it's actually really interesting and according to the videos that the three legendary dogs are actually um what we know as uh uh jolteon vaporeon and flareon so like entei is flareon technically like Entei was Flareon, so to say. Then, uh, I can't even remember the other two, uh, Pokemon. I don't want to update my computer. I'm sorry, computer, but I do not want to update it. Um, let's go ahead and 
set it to where you update at 1246 no because i'll probably still be on the computer there you go three o'clock today uh the time is is past um tomorrow um a.m sure a.m check mark sure there we go scheduled to reset all right sorry <laughs> but uh but yeah so like according to the video it said that the dog like there was a fire that ended up happening and then that there were three pokemon inside this building that you know caught on fire and those three pokemon were vaporeon uh jolteon and flareon and ho ho the legendary bird went and saved them and gave them uh pretty much to save them had to give them some legendary powers so that's how they and then they like transformed into different you know looking pokemon which i find is a pretty pretty cool story honestly um like all like the stuff that they were saying like you know you got the pokemon that's the, like the beginning of time and then you got the pokemon you know that you know runs earth and then runs the water you know you got the pokemon that runs uh ground like freaking uh groudon and then you got the pokemon that runs you know it's, it's a bunch of different stuff that's it's actually really interesting like if you guys go ahead and look up uh look up like uh i can't remember what the video was called but it's it's something like story behind uh the beginning of pokemon or something like that or the story behind myths and legendaries mythical pokemon and legendaries it's actually really really cool okay so we got abra evolving i didn't even realize that he was already up to level 16 like i literally just cut the recording of what i was just saying and then he was ready to evolve but sweet all right so now we're gonna go ahead let me see if all right we got lucky the puppy um lucky lucky the puppy lucky the puppy he's a higher up person um so hopefully he'll do it for me hey think you can help me evolve my cadabra did i spell that right cadabra yep so let's see what he says and i will let you guys know Alrighty, so he did help us evolve it. He thought, you know, I was sitting there trying to, uh... <laughs> oh, is... Are they fighting? <laughs> but he, he thought I was going to sit there and, uh, scam him. I'm not someone to scam someone. I'm not into that type of stuff. And it kind of makes me mad when someone does do it. But, uh... I canceled... So you can see it. I think I spoke canceled wrong. But yeah, like I said. So go ahead. Let's trade back. Trade you your hunter. And I know hunter don't take or hunter or hunter, yeah. Don't take uh anything to uh evolve so that's another reason why i canceled it um luckily <laughs> because i know some do thanks i know some do take some evolutions to evolve and some don't so well some take things to evolve see look there's this gengar i wanted him to have the experience i know you can see it anyways i just wanted him to have the experience of it evolving him being the one that accepted it but thank you thank you thank you Alrighty, sweet so we got our alakazam um but the biggest thing is i need to figure out who had that firestone hopefully it's still here um let's see no it's not dang it um anyone willing to donate donate me a fire or leaf stone 
uh hopefully someone is because i do not want to give anything away <laughs> for anything um but we do need to evolve our execute as quick as possible and the only way i think that we'll be able to do that is from going around and getting poker stops which kind of sucks so i'm sitting here riding around and because i went ahead and bought a bike um i'm wasting so much money on the server but i just realized that all this is the bike all it is <laughs> is a uh, is a horse retextured thunderstone which we don't need right now we need if we get an eevee because i do want to get jolteon but I, i'm not exactly sure on how to get an eevee honestly um but i mean we got a thunderstone um slash message let me see hey bell do you have a leaf or fire stone can trade you Cause I have a thunderstone. I just got a thunderstone, and then if he has a leaf or um other thing, see this is what I hate about people. It's like I have no need to spam or scam people, not spam, but people are like, oh, well, looks like he's gonna scam you, so I'm gonna say he's gonna scam you. Like, I literally had to tell that dude that I was evolving with. I'm like, dude, I need my cadaver evolved. I don't need your Gengar. I can get my own Gengar. I like to get my own stuff. I don't, you know, I don't scam people. Scamming people is just messed up. Like, be mature about the game. Don't scam people. You know, they work hard for this type of stuff. And, like, you know, I'm sitting here playing, and it's a grind. It's a big grind. And if he got his, you know... If he got his haunter high enough level to be able to you know be where he needed it to be to evolve i'm not gonna take that from him you know that's just messed up where are you oh yours yeah dugon that like confused me for a second i thought it was a white gyarados because of the tail <laughs> so i decided that we will probably need a ground pokemon so i'm gonna go ahead and get nidoran uh male because i like king i mean uh Nido king um but we need an adamant nature which this one's lax sadly um but i might also catch him at kind of like a higher level like his next evolution too because there's a few of those around that i can catch um so i'm gonna sit around in smog city or whatever this place is called and see if i can catch you know what i need um there's one i don't know where this other one's at but I know it's gonna kind of be rare on catching this one with a gray ball. But I'm gonna do this, and then once I catch the one that we need, I will let you guys know. So, our third one that we caught was our adamant. So, perfect. Now I just need to figure out when to evolve it, but I need a moonstone to evolve it. Woohoo! Freaking stones! awesome all right but the sad part is that you actually want to evolve your Nidorino at level 22 because you can either get horn attack which he probably has horn attack but then it says after you get horn attack evolve him to Nido king so we are not out of the bushes we do need to find one that's a little lower level like this level 18 right here which will be perfect because then all we got to do is level him up a few times but even if we had to level up a Nidorino um you know i'm fine with that too but let me go ahead and pc up get these guys out of here let's see nope that's relaxed so i mean he was a good one but he was too high a level so technically he was messed up which kind of sucks because that would have been perfect now i gotta spend more time sitting here and getting another pokemon all right so i did a little bit more research on Nido king um they're saying that timid is actually a pretty decent nature as well so we're gonna go ahead and keep him as timid um what all has okay so shelter uh alakazam and nidoran male now have um xp shares on them which honestly we'll be leveling him up so he don't even really need one uh but i'm still going around trying to find some uh oops not kit bike um still trying to find our 
uh what's it called stones so i'll let you guys know when i get them Alrighty, so as you guys know, I had a ghastly inside my PC and turns out he's actually a pretty decent nature. Um, this thing said either run timid or modest on him. So I'm running, I'm going to go ahead and run modest on him. And then we got our timid, need ran, our modest, our modest, our adamant, and then our lax. Because some reason lax is good for shoulder. I don't know why. I mean, he is a good defensive, you know, person. Um, so, I don't know. Like, honestly, I think I could run something a little better on him. As in, like, modest or something. I'm going to probably do some more research here in a second. Um, I'll probably try looking up a YouTube video, seeing, like, what are the best natures for Gen 1 Pokemon. So, I don't know. We'll see. Uh and we'll figure it out from there so let me go ahead and do a little bit more research um we're still trying to look for these things but honestly if i don't find them by the time i make it back to the main city i will go ahead and end this episode but um we'll see from there Alrighty, so we had no luck on finding what we needed um i'm just going through i'm gonna go back to the tree place <laughs> whatever that is called get our growlithe to level 44 uh, we just gotta evolve our um, execute and I'm sticking with what I have for uh, Nidoran and uh, Ghastly because I mean they're they're still pretty good I mean they're not bad um, but they're not good at the same time um, I'm also probably gonna get rid of Nidoran if I end up getting Eevee anyways so there's really I'm not too worried about it but the only thing is that you know, you got to get the certain nature of EV <laughs> for it to be, you know, good. I didn't mean to press that. I actually meant to shift off the bike. But it is what it is. You know, right now, this is all we can do. Um, because there's really nothing else for us to do. And I don't want to, you know, keep you guys waiting, you know, for the video. Uh, so next video, you know, I'm going to go around and I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing now. Uh... You know, once I get him to the level that he needs to be, I'm going to go ahead and take, um, all right, come on. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take our shelter over to the, uh, Amber city and then use him over there for a little while. Hopefully I can one shot this dude. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he's level 45. There we go. We got our Growlithe to level 45. So now all we need to do is evolve him. That's all we need to do. There's our fire blitz. So let's go ahead and get rid of this one. Uh, the user gets revenge for the fainted ally. If if any if an ally fainted in the previous turn, this move becomes more powerful. Oh um, yeah, we'll do it. Whatever. But now all we got to do is evolve them. But like I said, it's taken me a long time to find you know what I need to find. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys hit that button right there hit that little hit that picture It'll let you guys subscribe It'll take you guys to my channel and you guys can subscribe and if you guys missed any other episodes Click over there. There will be a playlist that you guys can click on and I will talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace